Hey, what's up you guys? Bringing another action figure review to you. And this is a, these are two figures I, ooh, once they got announced, once I saw them, I was highly hyped for them. I was, it was a very high anticipation for me to get these two figures. And, um, and I said it, I said to myself, I said, self, when these two figures go up for pre-order, you're going to get them. And I sure did. I pre-ordered them and they arrived today. And I am so excited to bring this double review to you. I very rarely do, um, you know, two figure reviews at the same time. But, you know, on some rare occasions when I do review uh, two figures um, at once, it's uh, pretty fun. Um, it's double the review and double the time, actually. Um, and it's uh, pretty fun. So this is um, the the DC McFarlane DC Multiverse. Um uh comic book godspeed that's comic book godspeed on the left and that is cw flash on the right so i know a lot of people probably don't watch the, the cw but the cw flash is a tv show well about the flash <laughs> so if you know flash from the comic books the cw tries to follow it as close as possible not exactly but you know um it's a lot of drama though so it's a it's a drama show um that's just what it is <laughs> um, you know and a lot of people don't like that but um you know the cw is a is you know it's a drama network you know it just is what it is all right so i'm wasting enough time babbling so you got dc multiverse uh you got godspeed you got it says the flash it doesn't say cw flash so yeah so you, you got godspeed and you got flash so we take a look at the side the side godspeed yeah and i'm a fan of godspeed um i was reading dc rebirth flash with godspeed i didn't finish it but from what i read so far it is awesome it's awesome so you see godspeed here in the back yeah. got that nice stock footage he looks ill he looked dope as hell you got dc multiverse over there on the side and you got the legalities there yeah man he looks pretty dope he looks pretty good. I gotta say, from what I'm seeing so far, McFarlane killed it. So yeah, you got the, you see there, you got the legalities at the bottom, of course. Oh, got the barcode upside down for anybody who wants that. There you go. And that's the front, that's the side DC Rebirth Godspeed. And you got Godspeed on the side here. And you got the inside of the packaging where you see his trading card right there. And, uh, and you got that and yeah and like i already showed the back so the mcfarland is kind of doing it a little differently now with the back um so you got flash here cw's flash grant gustin flash which i do love grant gustin i do love the cw flash even though that it's gotten pretty bad it's gotten pretty god awful the show i'm i'm sorry to say it but it's just really it's gotten unwatchable for me i couldn't even finish um season i forgot what season i was on but yeah so right here you got the flash the, the flash <laughs> uh, it says the flash it doesn't even say cw flash but that that's what he is and here he is on the back He's on full display as well. He looks pretty dope here. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Yeah, so McFarlane is doing the back of their box differently now. Now they're doing like the promo shots on the back, which I think is really dope, actually. I like that. So yeah, you got DC Multiverse inside there. Yeah, and that's what you got. So I'm gonna crack both of these guys out of the packaging. And yeah. So I'm gonna crack both of these guys out. I'm so excited. Woo! I've been highly anticipating these figures. I'm finally gonna review them. So stay tuned, guys. The, the, this is probably gonna be, I'm gonna try not to go too long, guys, but I'll be honest with you. This is probably gonna be like over 30 minutes. So just brace yourselves, okay? So CW Flash, got him. Let's review him. And so here they are out of the packaging um, and accessories in hand. So other accessories include these two trading cards. Well, let's do Godspeed first. So Godspeed, this is his trading card. 
So it's gonna spin at the bottom. You flip it around. Got uh, Godspeed DC Rebirth, his data file. Real name is August Hart, that's right. And um, August Hart is a former colleague and friend of Barry Allen at the Central City Police Department. While investigating his brother's death, August is shot shot at by an operative of the criminal organization Black Hole. But due to the organization's experiments with the speed force, a ball of lightning strikes August just before he's hit. Now able to tap into the extra dimensional energy of a speed force, August is given the superpowers of a speedster. Donning the name Godspeed, August takes justice into his own hands, destroying criminals with, impu with impunity until he's stopped by the Flash. And that is the read-up of Godspeed. Yes. And here is Barry Allen, the Flash, a.k.a. CW Flash. And the Flash. His bio reads as follows. The Flash... Data file, Barry, real name Barry Allen. In the seventh season of the hit CW show, right, that's the season I'm on, <laughs> season seven, and I couldn't finish it, but I, I'm a I'm a grudge through it. I'm gonna go back and finish watching it. But like I was saying, season uh, uh in the seventh season of the hit CW show, we find Mirror Mask escaping from the mirror verse, the speed force is destroyed, other new forces are unleashed upon Central City, and Godspeed is back. Using speed clones to help him destroy Barry Allen with a new Team Flash, Barry must navigate the incredible threats all while looking for his wife Iris and dealing with his speedster children from the future. That's the read up on CW Flash. So, these two figures together, I will say, they look good. Uh, they look good together, actually. Um, and their accessories are pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm using their accessories correctly. Um, I was looking around on the box. I was looking um, at their picture files and nothing really showed me how to use them correctly um, with the uh, with the speed force lightning bolts because I'm pretty sure that that's what um, that's what McF the McFarlane team is trying to emulate. Um, you know, when speedsters run like this, um, they're tapping into the speed force. So, you know, all the lightning, all the electricity. Um, everything like that. So I'm probably not using it correctly, but hey, I did the best I could. So let's continue with the review. So let's start off with the Flash first, then we'll get the Godspeed. So let me remove his Speed Force accessories, which you can see here. There's one lightning bolt. It has a little bit of translucent uh, material to it. There's the other lightning bolt, pretty similar. Or the same, I guess. And here's the lightning bolt that goes around his chest, showing him tapping to the speed force. So, um, Jesus, this figure is tall. Okay, so first off, looking at his head sculpt, I think the head sculpt is good. I think it definitely has signs of Grant Gustin. Um, it's really close though. Like it's not too far off. It's not too far from looking like Grant. I think it mostly looks like Grant Gustin. It's maybe a little bit off, a little bit slightly off probably. But I think this is probably as close to Grant Gustin as any um action figure team has gotten. Um and I like the face sculpt. I like it a lot. He's still looking off to the side. That still kind of bugs me a little bit. I wish McFarlane Toys would stop doing that. And they're probably going to cuz enough of us um action figure reviewers are complaining about it. So but I think the face sculpt looks good. I think it does um, look like Grant Gustin mostly not it's not exact but it yeah it it reminds me of Grant Gustin yeah it does I also like the material in his mask I like how they did that um, just like uh, the CW um, did his uh, costume and it's good he got the lightning bolt ears on the side and uh, that looks good my camera's having a hard time focusing. But it looks good mostly. The top of his head, that looks good. So let's start breaking down the rest of his costume. The lightning bolt looks great. It looks good. It looks clean. It looks clean. Um, he has his little material on the side, his little designs on the side, of course, there. And um, he has his little lightning bolt streaks going through the costume. That looks good. Um, he has his little he has his little uh, lightning bolts. Um, in his upper arm, uh, I mean, not upper arm, a uh, lower arm. Uh, 
he has the lightning bolt see that's good he has his um, lightning bolt belt which is very good very um, accurate to the show um, he has more uh, lightning lines signed through his legs that is also good and he, he has a lightning on his boots um, now on his newest season, is this season eight or season nine? Well, whatever season it is, now he has the gold boots. So I don't know if McFarlane is going to re-release this figure and it mostly be the same and they just give him gold boots. And I don't know if McFarlane is going to do that. He probably might because McFarlane has done shit like that in the past before. So it wouldn't surprise me if he did that. But um, I don't mind this. I actually like these boots. Um, I think the I think the yellow boots look kind of silly on him yellow or gold whatever it is i think the gold boots that he's wearing on the show look kind of sick but i haven't watched the newest season yet so i have to see those boots in action but i think they should have just stayed with these boots if i'm being honest um, got the peckles at the bottom so yeah so overall flash looks good uh grant gustin cw flash looks good if i can get the sucker to stand let me get him to stand up hold on okay finally got him to stand now we will take a closer look at godspeed so Godspeed, this is a figure um, I have definitely been um, anticipating. Oh, so these are his two lightning effects. These are how his lightning effects look. Has a little bit of translucent material going on there too as well. So that's his lightning bolts, pretty, pretty much. And Flash fell back there. I know he's going to. I'm gonna have to put him on the uh, display stand because he likes to topple over. Uh, so that's his other lightning effect. And so, um, yeah, I just had to pick Flash back up because he kept falling over. So I just put him on his display stand. So thank you, McFarlane, for including display stands because uh, these these action figures need it. So, so let's look at Godspeed. So head sculpt first, and I think this looks awesome. I think Godspeed looks awesome, dude. I think McFarlane nailed it. McFarlane killed it. He looks right out of the comic book. I knocked my camera, my bad. Um, yeah, he looks straight out of the comic book. He looks so good. He looks really good. I think his head sculpt looks really good. That looks sick. He's like, he looks like he's ripped right out of the comic book. No bullshit. I'm serious. Um, yeah. So let's look at the rest of his costume, which looks awesome. This material going on here, this looks awesome. You got his reverse lightning bolt. Of course, all the evil speedsters have it. <laughs> the reverse lightning bolt. But it's sick, though. And you got this design going on here. Got all of this going on. It looks awesome. And you, you got more designs and more um, panel lining material going through on the side and through the, through, and through the back. He looks awesome. He looks amazing, dude. He looks so good. Now the only knock I guess with these these two uh, figures is that they don't come with alternate hands, and probably a lot of um, this is butt. I'm <laughs> I'm having a long stare as butt. No homo. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we got the designs going through here. Uh, that is awesome. That is sick love that you, you got more designs flowing through on the side there that is sick got more designs going through here it's been a while since i read the comic um so i'm gonna go back and finish up on that reading the rebirth flash comic with uh with godspeed and you got more design work going through here and that's good and that's good um yeah yeah looks good it looks really good got the bottom of his feet <laughs> he even got the gold in the bottom of his feet that's pretty dope that's pretty awesome and he got the gold going around here on his feet and on the back of his shins that is awesome that is really awesome so this is this is a awesome looking figure this is an awesome yeah, Godspeed is awesome. Now he's standing fine on his own. Uh oh, he about to top over too. I about to say he's standing fine on his own. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, yeah. Ha! He showed you up, Flash. 
He's like, yeah, I can hold my own. I can stand up. What's your problem? <laughs> yeah, so I'm about to get into articulation, and then I'll do um, some com size comparisons. So let's get into that. All right, these are really tall figures, so <laughs> I'm going to have to manage the best I can. So he can look up about that much. So I get him look up. Yeah, so he can look up about that much. He can look down about that much. He does have full 360 rotation. He does have attitude. And um, his arms go out about that much. Yeah, this one goes a little higher than this one. Uh, he has a full 360 rotation. Upper, upper bicep swivel, double joint elbows, uh, full wrist and hinge rotation. Uh, he does have an upper ball joint. And he does, um, and it can uh, pivot and it can swivel around. He does have a lower swivel in his waist as well. And he has splits in the legs. Uh, he does have a slight thigh cut, a slight one. He kicks forward about that much. He kicks backward about that much. He does have doubly jointed knees and no boot rotation. Still, McFarlane is not including that. Um, and he has uh, the lowest swivel in his feet. And he has the toe articulation, and it can also ankle pivot. So, not bad. Not bad for um, a flash figure for a speedster. Not bad, not bad. Can't really complain, right? Can't really, oh, now he wants to stand, smart ass. I guess I had to get him in the right pose, huh? All right, so, now for Mr. Godspeed. All right, for Mr. Godspeed, he can look up about only small little slight looking up not much uh, he goes down about that much and he does have attitude his head spin around full 360 his arms go out about that much uh, it does 360 all the way around it does have a butterfly joint and so does flash i forgot to mention that both flash and gosby has butterfly joint if you want me to show then i'll go back and show they both have the butterfly joint, so <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Almost forgot about that there. Yeah, so uh, butterfly joint can go all around 360. Upper bicep swivel, double joint and elbows. There's a ball hinge here in the wrist. So this is a little different um, from the flash over there. He has a ball hinge in the wrist. Does spin around, rotate hinge. Um, he has an upper ball joint. And he has a lower ball joint that could go 360. And it can pivot, go all the way around, everything. Splits, full out, kicks about that high. It has a slight tight uh, thigh rotation. Doubly jointed knees, no boot rotation either. Still, McFarland's not doing it, like I mentioned. <laughs> yeah, he does, he does have the toe articulation. And he does have a ball hinge and a swivel in his feet. So. There you go for Mr. Godspeed. For Mr. Godspeed. So awesome. Awesome cakes. <laughs> so both these figures are dope. Both these figures are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I am enjoying them immensely. So now let's get into some arrow and flash size comparisons. Okay, so first up we have Zoom from DC Collectibles. We have Zoom uh, from, we have Zoom from the CW Flash. So that's how he matches up in size. And also we have um, DC, I can't remember if this is Mattel or not. I think it might be Mattel. DC Mattel, DC Universe, um, Reverse Flash. So he just looks ridiculous standing next to him because he's so short. So. I need to get a new reverse flash. I might get the McFarlane DC Universe flash. I might. I might. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Um, so I know he looks kind of ridiculous standing next to them because he's so he's so short. So that's that size comparison. And next up in size comparison, we have um, my DC Collectibles CW Flash that came in a two-pack uh, with Arrow, which I'm going to show Arrow in just a second. And also, I have my custom Barry Allen right there. So that's the Barry Allen that came with that DC Collectibles Flash in the two-pack. And uh, that's that size comparison. 
and I love this figure. I don't, I'm never giving up this figure. This is probably my definitive uh, Jay Garrick. And here we have Jay, Mr. Jay Garrick. This is a classic. I think this is DC Universe Classics, Jay Garrick, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I don't know. Um, if you hear that, that's my wife playing in the uh, bathtub with my daughter. <laughs> with our daughter, I mean. Um, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> apologize for that. Uh, yeah, so this is Jay Garrick, and I love this Jay Garrick. And I think he looks good standing next to them, actually. I mean, they're taller than him, obviously, but that looks pretty good. And here is my DC Collectibles Malcolm Merlin from the Arrow uh, television show. And also this Arrow himself. Um, Arrow, um, season four, season five Arrow. I think that's season four Arrow, I think. I think. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's Arrow next to uh, Barry Allen, of course. And um, that's Michael Merlin next to Gospy. Yeah, so that's from the CW as well. And last but certainly not least, we have um, the season one um uh, Oliver Queen. Um, this is season one, Oliver Queen. And um, I also have this figure as well. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he looks good. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I'm doing a lot of CW because, you know, I think that's what these figures will... Well, Godspeed is a comic book figure, but, you know, CW Flash, you know, it just fits. I, I mean, that's how I'm going to display them in my collection anyway so yeah so there we go okay and that is it for size comparison so my thoughts on these figures is that these figures are awesome they are amazing and um i'm very happy to have them in my collection uh they look amazing they pose amazing uh mcfarlane once again not to die out of park especially with godspeed um, he did he did very good well with CW Flash too. It's very accurate to the TV show, down to the to the lines, the design, um, even the head sculpt. The head sculpt is uh, uh, very good. It looks I like I said that's as close to Grant Gustin's likeness that I've that I've seen from any CW Flash figures. Um, and there's been quite a few of them. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of them, but there's been. Um, there's, there's been enough to make uh, comparisons on um, I don't have any other CW flashes These are the only two that I have I used to have the, the uh, CW Season 1 flash But I sold that I sold it a long time ago Which that was a mistake I should never did that But um, yeah So um, do I think these two figures are worth a pick up? Absolutely Absolutely I think if you're a if you're a comic book fan and you're a fan of Godspeed, or if you just want a cool looking figure, Godspeed definitely shines the most. Um, and that's no knock on the CW Flash. He shines too. Um, but if you're a fan of the CW, then you definitely want this Flash. You definitely do. Um, if you're a fan um, of the comic books, like I said, and you're a fan of the Flash comic books, you definitely want Godspeed. You definitely want Godspeed for sure. And you want to get these figures before eventually they shoot up in price. Because that's just what's going to happen. I got mine from Walmart. That's where I got it from. I pre-ordered it on Walmart and it came today. And um, I'm very happy with these two figures. I'm immensely happy. Happy to add them to my collection. And I'm going to be keeping them for a very long time. Well, we'll see. We'll see how things happen in the future. Because, you know, comic books always change. Um, you know, and uh, toy companies always make new ones to, you know. To make money, so, you know, it's a money business. So I don't know how things will change in the future. If I will be, if Godspeed will have a different design in the future that I might want, or if the Flash does, I don't know. But as it stands right now, for the next couple of years at least, I would say, I'm very happy with these two figures, immensely happy. Um, and I will give them, well, I will give Godspeed a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason Godspeed doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because there were no alternate hands. Um, and I probably could have used that, um, some alternate hands. Usually, I usually don't nitpick about that, but the more and more I, I, you know, I'm starting to collect my stuff, the more and more I'm starting to realize, I'm like, you know what, I could use an extra set of something, <laughs> you know, an extra set of hands or, or whatever. So he, Godspeed gets a 9.5 out of 10. And I will give CW Flash... I'm hovering between an 8.5 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. Um, 
I really like him a lot. Um, I'm going to go with a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to give CW Flash 9 out of 10 because it's really accurate to the show. And the head sculpt is as close to Grant Gustin as I've seen. Like I said, it's as close as we're going to get right now until somebody comes out with a Grant Gustin CW Flash and top it. But it's the best Grant Gustin head sculpt I've seen so far. So, yeah. So, Godspeed gets a 9.5 out of 10. And CW Flash gets... Uh, right, Godspeed gets a 9.5. And CW Flash gets a 9 out of 10. So, that's my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This double review. It's a 25-minute review. I know it's long. But when I review two figures, that's what happens. Which I rarely do. I don't do often. But I wanted to do this time because I got them both at the same time. So, that's my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative. I still got a couple more figs that I want to review uh, maybe one custom fig maybe yeah, you know if I feel like doing that you know and y'all usually I get more views on my custom figs because y'all like that so I probably will show that um, it's Batman related <laughs> uh, so yeah so that's my review guys hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it inform informative like share and subscribe and until the next time see ya